Today, we're going to demonstrate the dry sieving test method used to determine the particle size distribution of fine and coarse aggregates in accordance with ASTM C136, where a sample of dry aggregate of a known mass is separated through a series of sieves with progressively smaller openings to determine the particle size distribution of the test sample. The standard test method for sieve analysis of fine and coarse aggregates is used primarily to determine the grading of materials proposed for use as aggregates and to determine the compliance of particle size distribution where applicable specifications are required and to provide necessary data for quality control of production of various aggregate products and mixtures containing aggregates. Devices required for this test method are a balance or scale used in testing of fine and coarse aggregates with a readability of 0.1 grams for fine aggregate and 0.5 grams for coarse aggregate or mixture of fine and coarse aggregates. Test sieves that conform to ASDM E11 specifications. A mechanical sieving device to create motion of the particles to bounce, tumble, or otherwise turn as to present different orientations to the sieving surface. An oven of appropriate size capable of maintaining a uniform temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. A sieve brush, a sample container or pan, a sieve pan, a sieve stack cover, and a way to record and analyze your test findings. It is important to limit the quantity of test materials on any given sieve so that all particles have the opportunity to reach the sieve openings a number of times during sieving operations. For this demonstration, the bulk sample has already been reduced to an amount suitable for testing using the applicable procedures described in ASTM C702. The procedure for standard test method for sieve analysis of fine and coarse aggregates, we first dry the test sample in an oven at a constant temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. Measure on a balance or scale the tear weight or unladen weight of your sample container or pan. Now place the test sample into the sample container and measure its gross weight. Next. Select test sieves with suitable openings to furnish enough information required by the specifications covering the material being tested. Nest the sieves in order of decreasing size openings from top to bottom. Today we're using Gilson 8 inch ASTM E11 stainless steel compliance grade test sieves. Place the sieve stack onto a sieve pan. Now place the test sample onto the top sieve and then cap the sieve stack with a sieve cover. Agitate the sieves by means of a mechanical sieving apparatus for a sufficient period of time so that not more than 1% by mass of the material retained on any individual sieve will pass that sieve during one minute of continuous sieving. For this demonstration, we are using the Gilson SS15 mechanical sieve shaker. The SS15 delivers superior accuracy and repeatability for particle separations by combining a back and forth lateral motion with an up and down and tilting motion, which causes test material to travel in an orbital direction on the sieve surface. Once sieving has completed its course, Measure and record the mass weight of each sample size increment on a scale or balance to the nearest 0.1 gram. Repeat this process for each sieve and the sieve pan. The total mass of the sieve sample should match closely with the original mass of the test sample before sieving. If the amount differs by more than 0.3% based on the original dry sample mass, then the results should not be used and the test should be repeated. In recording the mass of each sample size and determining the gross test sample mass, you should include the total percentage of material passing each sieve and or 
the mass of the material retained on each test sieve and pan and or the percentage of material retained passing consecutive sieves. Now you have all the information needed to determine the particle size distribution of the test sample and in doing so determine the particle size distribution of the bulk sample for aggregate uses and mixtures. For any questions concerning dry sieving samples or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.